It's another round of the FBI versus the Gotti family. The feds picked up former Gambino crime family boss John Jr. Gotti at his home on Long Island Tuesday morning. As part of a RICO criminal conspiracy indictment, he's charged with cocaine trafficking, jury and witness tampering, and most seriously, say Thank prosecutors. You. The murders of three men in Queens and Manhattan back in the late 1980s and early 1990s. Gotti's lawyer, Charles Carnesi, says his client will plead not guilty. Was he ordering these hits? When absolutely he was not. Years absolutely, years absolutely, years absolutely not. He had nothing to do with this. Junior Gotti is the son of late Gambino boss John J. Gotti, nicknamed the Teflon Don because of how he kept beating federal prosecutions. The son has a similar record, hung juries each of the last three times the government has put him on trial. The feds ultimately put Gotti Sr. behind bars for life, and they hope to do the same with Junior, who claims he left the mafia lifestyle behind in 1998. The mob is accepted the fact that he's withdrawn and now it's just up to the FBI to come around and reach the reality of it. The new charges were brought in Tampa, Florida, where federal agents said the Gambino crime family had a foothold and where the government has apparently found at least one cooperating witness. When you violate the federal law today, tomorrow, or 20 years ago, the FBI and its law enforcement partners will pursue the matter to its log logical conclusions. But Gotti's lawyer cast doubt on the credibility of any new witnesses. Why would some nobody drug dealer in Florida, why would he be possessed of this information? It's absolutely ridiculous. In court Tuesday, a judge ordered Gotti to remain behind bars until he's transferred to Florida. Gotti claims he makes a living these days by collecting rents from several properties he owns. But the government says it's a front to hide millions of dollars in unexplained proceeds. Ted Chaffrey, The Associated Press, New York.